Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome to another morning of the breakfast blog. Are y'all ready this morning? Title of this one is How to Multiply Bread. We always want to know how to multiply bread, don't we? It was midday, just about lunchtime. Most of the students had gathered in the common hall area for lunch. The teacher and I were sitting outside. Messiah was ministering to a multitude of thousands, he said, when a crisis arose. The people were hungry and had virtually no food, only two fish and five loaves of bread. He took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks, broke, broke them and gave them to the disciples to give to the multitude. And they all ate and were filled. And the disciples collected 12 baskets of leftover pieces. It is called the miracle of multiplication. Starting with just two fish and five loaves of bread, they fed thousands of people. But how did he perform that miracle? It doesn't say. But it does, he said. Listen again. And looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them and gave them to the disciples. He gave thanks. Yes, he looked to heaven and gave thanks. He gave thanks and the miracle happened. That's the secret, the key to the miracles. Giving thanks. Giving thanks is crucial to a life of fullness and blessings. On top of that, it also gives you the power to perform the miracle of multiplication. How? By doing what he did. You don't look at how little you have or how big your problem is or how impossible the situation is. You don't panic, you don't complain, and you don't get discouraged over not having enough. You take the little you have, whatever good there is, no matter how small or inadequate it is, and you do what Messiah did. You lift it up to the Lord and you give thanks for it. And the blessings you have will multiply. If not in the world, they're in your heart. The more you give thanks, the less you will hunger, and the more full and blessed you will be. So in, el- so in order to perform miracles, I need to give thanks. Whatever you have, no matter how much or how little, give thanks even for what is not enough, and it will multiply to become what is enough and what is more than enough. Practice this key. Then get started multiplying your bread. The mission today. Stop seeking more. Start living in the realm of not enough. Oh, stop seeking more and stop living in the realm of not enough. Today, practice giving thanks for everything. Perform the act of multiplication. And the scripture is going to come out of Matthew 14, verses 14 through 21. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And that is the secret to multiplying bread. Always give thanks and watch the miracle happen. Dear Lord, we thank you this morning, Father God, for that multiplication. We thank you that everything in our life is finna multiply, Father God. Friends, family, financial, whatever it may be, we just need to look up to you and give thanks. And we give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Breakfast Blog. See y'all tomorrow.